good morning students welcome to your value education class today i will teach you the chapter number 6 rats rats and rats look at the pictures talk about them in class here is in your project as promise now it is i think you are missing the projects we are giving sometimes you are also submitting that but not like this you are submitting our online but this last time also you have submitted the project so this time rats rats rat also they have given that so here project sometimes uh, you have done also like this drawing collecting pictures all these things i took your pencil box from your table when you are not looking i'm sorry actually someone like your um uh, like uh, what can i tell sometimes for your joking you are taking that uh, you are taking some pencil box pencils eraser from your friends after that you are returning that because you are very good always you are good children but at the same time you should tell sorry so that girl is telling that i'm sorry friend quick let's hide this torn book before somebody sees so torn means actually if they have torn tear it but you should not do like this anybody should not do like this anybody can tear by mistake in so at that time we should show our elders all these books because they can also give the cello tape they can make it good at good condition this books next one schools annual day obviously this is mesmerized for our school and this time i think you will miss the mesmerize okay let me see what will happen mesmerize we are just enjoying we are doing dance and song everywhere all this program so here also they are looking the program and the school annual program i am not a, a part of the singing group i can sneak out and play so that is the not the thing everybody sneak out means just we can we can leave uh, leave hidingly from the place so that we should not do we are not also doing we are always eager to see our friends program so everybody should do like this and here okay we'll read the story little imo loved playing pranks prank means the jokes this funny thing he would tease everyone and play pranks on them not only jokes the bad jokes also sometimes funny things and from that funny thing someone can get hurt that is not good for anyone play pranks on them he would also lie to this family he would scare his sister by saying it scare scare means frightening by saying look at the rats under your bed they will bite you at the night his sister would get scared and cry sometime you are also scaring the rats last time have you remember the one cat entered your class so that time also you are feeling scary but rat also scared for you so but that was there was no rat only his brother was scaring her one day his grandmother was boiling soup i mol took a spoonful and said yak no salt his grandmother mixed some more salt into it and through she had in fact put salt in earlier that evening nobody could have the salty soup because second time twice she has given the salt in the soup can anybody eat that salty soup so that is the not funny thing that is the called pranks another day he told his father dad your car has been stolen his dad his dad ran out instantly instantly means at that moment the car was found right in the middle of the driveway inside the house imol was rolling on carpet laughing so hard that his stomach hurt because he was joking also with his father he was telling his father somebody has stolen his car obviously car is a valuable thing if somebody stole it anybody can stay without worrying it 
One night, grandfather decided to tell him the story of shepherd boy who played a prank of shouting, wolf, wolf. So when the wolf really came, the boy shouted, wolf. Nobody believed him, said grandfather. But Aymal only laughed when grandfather finished the story and went up to sleep. Do you know the story? I think you have seen the also story. That story that every day shepherd boy is telling or crying wolf and wolf. All the villagers came to help him. But at that time no wolf was there. He actually lied them. But when the real wolf came, then no one believed him and no one came. Okay. But from the story that Aymal did not take any learning, any lesson. That night something strange happened. Aymal heard some screeching noises and woke up with startle. Startle means chumkyota, okay, like this confused. It was a dark, the noises were coming from under his bed. He peeped. Peep means just looking like this and was horrified. Horrified means terrified, too much frightening. There were rats and rats and rats under his bed. He shouted, mom, dad, rats, rats. But nobody came. Aymal jumped from his bed, ran to the living room. Everyone sat there chatting. He said, come quickly. There are rats under my bed. Nobody even looked at him. Aymal shouted again, I'm not lying. Please believe me. Nobody have even bothered to get up. No one was listening at that day. Aymal, Aymal called someone. Aymal opened his eyes. It was grandfather. Aymal sat up. The rats, he said. What rats? His grandfather asked. You were shouting in your sleep. Did you have a bad dream? So all those rats were a dream. Aymal sighed with relief. Shai means take a deep breath. Aymal decided never to tell lies again. And never did he play pranks on anyone, trouble them either. So here there is a story. So we should not tell lie to anyone. Pranks, jokes we can do but we should not scare. We can tell so many funny story but we should not tell lie. From this story we, we are just telling that we are learning a lesson. We should not tell a lie to anyone. Please read the story. Once again, I will read the next week. Please read once again. Okay? Thank you, beta. Have a nice day.